Wow, what a final day of the season. I mean, Mr. Ambrose, Mr. Crook, action non-stop. I know you was commentator today, Crookie. I was, yeah. What a game. Well, I was doing the Chelsea game, and at one stage I thought I would get this big story with Aston Villa winning that game and, and, and Chelsea therefore falling out of the top four, but I couldn't believe that capitulation for Leicester. Um, effectively, they had destiny because of what was going on at Villa Park in their own hands, and they've blown it again. Second season in a row, missed out on the top four on the last day. I guess it won't be as painful this time around because they've got that FA Cup in the trophy cabinet, but I still think Brendan Rodgers... We'll probably leave that ground tonight thinking what, what could have been. Do you think that's, I mean, 2-1 up against Chelsea, things look really, really good. Sorry not against Chelsea, sorry up against Spurs, but things look really, really good. And then all of a sudden, I mean, some of the goals in the defending. I, I mean, Casper smarko has been one that I've really, I've, I think he's a brilliant goalkeeper. But when he looks back at that replay with that goal, he won't be happy with that at all. He won't. And, you know, Brendan Rodgers, it's happened again, which is 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 the worst. Because... It's a good season for Leicester, let's be honest. If, if anyone, any Leicester fan was offered the FA Cup and fifth place at the start of the season, they'd have snapped your hand off. But because they've been in this top four for so long, it's a real disappointment to finish the way it has. And, mm. you know, I'm gutted for Leicester, actually. I wanted to see them make the top four, but it's not to be, and they have to go again. And as I said, Liverpool, they obviously come out winning 2 0 against Crystal Palace. I, I watched, we watched, we watched the game, Mo Salah doing everything he could to get, <laughs> <laughs> to get that goal. And you know full well who'd have been told at half time, because he would have asked a question, because I would have done that. What's the score in the Spurs game? And who scored? Harry Kane obviously getting the goal, him not winning the goal. But Liverpool, you'd have to say, have been outstanding. The last, the last six weeks of the season, they've done what they've needed to do. And they finished third in the end. I mean, what a crazy season. Yeah, and, and we're going to talk about our moments of the season later, but. For me, that goal from Allison at, at the end of that game last weekend, I mean, that really gave them the platform, didn't it? Gave them the, the springboard to actually go on and finish third. I don't think any of us saw that coming six or seven weeks ago. But I think also special praise for the two young lads at the back. Yeah. Because obviously they've had so many injury problems defensively. I think it took Jurgen Klopp a long time to realise that actually playing midfielders at the centre of defence wasn't the way forward. But those two young lads have, have really stepped up to the plate and and come to the fore when Liverpool have needed them. And manager of the season, I mean, it won't be Jurgen Klopp because their defence of the title was atrocious. And yes, they had a lot of mitigating factors, but the fact he's managed to get them into the top four, I think I think we'll, we'll just save him fr from any real criticism. What I will say is going into next season, this momentum that Liverpool built, they've also got their, yeah. their big, big players coming back, mm. Ambrose. I mean, what are you expecting from Liverpool come next season? Um a better challenge than than they obviously that this year was it, it wasn't great until like we said the last six seven weeks I mean t 10 games eight wins two draws it's magnificent form that to be honest and that that has got them into third place which as Crookie said we didn't see coming but um, I think next season if if their players their, their bigger players as we say Jordan Henson was on the bench today it was brilliant um, if Van Dijk Gomez they come back and they're as, as good as that we know they can be they're going to be a, a threat once again and they're going to be looking to maybe add one or two yeah. and, and really push again and, and see if they can catch up Man City. Well, as we said, Manchester City, they win the Premier League title. Manchester, Manchester United second. Liverpool come third somehow. Chelsea grab that last Champions League spot and Leicester are finished fifth. Now, we can speak to a Leicester fan, Matt. Uh, Matt, I mean, what, what, what are you saying? I mean, you've won the FA Cup, you finished fifth. It's still been a very good season, but were you hoping maybe for Champions League football? Um, well, I called it to speak about Madison specifically. So, um, but yeah, the, the, the general opinion is for me, I think that we're probably two transfers, transfer windows away from being able to compete in the Premier League and the Champions League. So I feared a little bit for what I would do for the Premier League next year with, with our squad. We've been ravaged by injury this year, and I think that's really shown. We've had more centre back partnerships than Liverpool have. So if that doesn't tell you something, then I don't know what will. Um, but ultimately, I, I, I have a problem when people send me bottle bit in the last couple of last months. We've got a, a precocious mentality where we bottle it in games. And that goes back all through the season, not now. We lost 3-0 to West Ham. We lost 3-1 to Leeds. We lost 4-2 to Newcastle. And, of course, what happened today? We don't see... Once it goes wrong, we just don't seem to be able to deal with it. So I think object to us having bottled it in the last month, but we seem to have a fragile mentality full stop. Um, but the, the thing that really riled me today, sorry guys, is that look at Wesley Fofana, which had a massive impact on the game, no doubt. The guy was in tears getting taken off the pitch, in tears. James Madison, 
who was substituted, came on the pitch, cracking jokes, fangirling over Kane, even plays like some that he's probably never even met in his life. How disrespectful is that to what's just happened today? And I tell you what, I know we're lucky to have a play like Madison. Don't get me wrong. But you guys only see the highlights reel. You see the match of the day. When you watch him week in, week out, he's so frustrated. Since his injury, since his discipline from that despicable action when he went to that party that the, that the young players at Leicester had, he's been... It's like we've been playing with 10 men. And over the... Over, if, we'd have play, if he'd have played in the FA Cup final, this would have been a disastrous season. Make no mistake. And he's taken no responsibility. He got hooked on 60 minutes. And he's on the pitch laughing and joking and hugging Kane. Disgraceful. Yeah. What is going through that kid's head? That's the problem. Chilwell was the same. I wasn't bothered that he left. They care more about trainers and haircuts than they do about winning football matches. That's the impression they're giving. As inaccurate as that might be, he needs to sort his head out and, and decide if he's waiting for a transfer, play well for us. If you're not looking for transfer, play well for us. I think Gareth Southgate would, would probably agree with a lot of what you said there because even before that, that COVID breach, I don't think Madison yeah. was going to make the squad for the Euros. And I think Gareth Southgate does have some concerns, possibly about his character. Um, Sam Matterface, our commentator, was at the game today. He's just tweeted to say that he asked Brendan Rodgers after the match if he could allay Leicester fans' fears that he might jump ship to Tottenham. There was a suggestion in one of the tabloid papers today that if Leicester missed out on the Champions League, he could be tempted. But he said to Sam, Brendan Rodgers, 200% I can say I'm not going. I love it here. Does that make you feel better? It does. It does. But I, and I think um, all I'll go back to is this whole like ESL um, Big Six thing. What Leicester fans have to be aware of is Brendan Rodgers has effectively the same squad other than Castagna and Fafana that Puel has. We are one manager away from this going back to mid-table. Spurs and Arsenal are one manager away from being great again. And oh. that's what we have to be very careful. That is what we have to be very careful of, that we don't get too big for our boots. Yes, we're in a very good situation now, but so much is that down to having Rodgers at the moment, and that is just music to my ears.